All right, so I have the Fitbit here, and I have the Fitbit app. So the first thing you need to do, it says, is to, on the watch it says that we need to go to the Fitbit app. It says that in Chinese right now, but I swear it said in English. So we'll go to Fitbit. And we want to go to add, I believe. Nope. Let's go to my account. Set up a device. Versa. Get fit and style. Set up. Read the agreement. Yep, okay, I agree. Turn on Bluetooth. I think I've got Bluetooth off. Let's turn that on. I agree. Charge Versa to 50%. Keep charging through setup. Ensure access to reliable Wi-Fi. Blah, blah, blah. Keep the Versa charging. So let's put it on the charger so they don't get mad at us. It does not come with a wall plug-in. That's special. Okay, so we got the thing plugged in. So I'll have it right here. And we're going to go through the setup process. I watched one video and it seems like it actually took a long time. So keep your person near. Found it. Connecting to tracker. Enter the number on the display. 026. The quality of the Fitbit screen is actually not that bad either. Got some big bezels, but... I think that overall with this gray, it's a very stylish Fitbit. Bluetooth request pair. Wi-Fi is used to set up your watch now and transfer music later. We'll get you set up in the next few steps. Okay. Find a network. Do that one. This process can take over 30 minutes to complete. Why? Oh, we have to update it. Okay, so check out the awesome things you can do with your watch. So let's actually go over that really quick while it's being special. So you can track your activity from your morning coffee to your, end to your evening workout. Versa tracks your movements one step at a time. You can track stats over time in the Fitbit app about how many steps you've taken, what distance you've traveled, how many calories per run, how many minutes you've been active, your heart rate during rest and activity, and how well you slept. That's what I miss the most is the sleep activity because that's, I think, really interesting to look at your sleep. Wear your watch your way. It comes with a variety of clock faces. Pick your favorites when the update completes. Okay. Get notifications at a glance. Enable notifications, calls, calendar events, and texts now. After setup, you can turn on alerts for emails and apps too. So I'm going to turn those on. I did enable them. Apps will appear here after. Okay. Now, optimize your workouts. So connected GPS, what that means is that the Fitbit does not actually have GPS built into it, but that's fine. It will connect to your phone's GPS and track your workouts that way. And I had that with the Charge 2 and I had no problems with it at all. And plus the Fitbit app is so much better than Apple's that it's worth even without GPS to have it on here. Um, exercise modes to see real-time stats on the display. Smart track, that's a cool one. It will automatically record your workouts, including walks, ellipticals, and other run workouts. And then swimming tracks duration, duration, laps, and distance of swims. Music on the go, phone free. That works with Pandora Plus. It will refresh music automatically when charging. Deezer, and then you can also put your personal music up to 300 songs on the device. And pay from your wrist. So you can uh, leave your wallet at home, pay in seconds with Fitbit Pay. Merchants never see your card number and you still get protection from your bank. So it basically works anywhere that Apple Pay is at. And that's it. So we can actually go and use my phone while it's updating, which is kind of cool. We just got to keep it close to Versa, so we will be back as soon as that is done. So I just finished the setup, and now it's installing the software. So we should be done any moment now. Your Fitbit Versa is ready. It's the moment your wrist has been waiting for. So I'm going to get this put on and call it a day. Fitbit would like to make data available in able to find whatever. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? To remove the band, slide the pin inwards and pull it off. All the quick tips. Swipe up for stats. Swipe down for notifications. Shortcuts with the power tray. Swipe left for apps. Clean your band and wrist regularly with soap free cleanser. Now get moving. Awesome. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, as well as ring that bell. And make sure you click all notifications so you can be notified when we have new videos. 
If you want to see any more videos, I will have them right over here. That's going to be a, maybe I'll put the Fitbit unboxing there. And then a random video that YouTube thinks you like. And then if you click right here, you will be subscribed.